Little boy and fat man were dropped into Japan to show the horrors of nuclear weapons. With thousands of nuclear weapon tests, humanity has suffered countless serious consequences. Let's watch this video to the end to see how severe nuclear weapon tests are. Nuclear weapons testing and its consequences for the environment. The little boy and fat man atomic bombings were the events where two atomic bombs were dropped by the United States Army on Japan's Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These two bombs almost completely destroyed the houses of these two cities and killed about 200,000 people. Since this bombing, nuclear weapons have been continuously detonated more than 2,000 times to test and show off the military might of the developed world powers. Nuclear explosion tests for research purposes to develop and improve nuclear weapons have had certain effects on the radioactive environment around the world. It is the effect of nuclear explosion on the environment and in particular will affect people themselves is one of the issues that are mentioned a lot during negotiation of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty towards a world without nuclear weapons. Since 1945, nuclear weapons have been tested in all environments, in the air, underground and underwater. The tests were carried out on large barges, on top of towers, suspended in airships, above the surface of the earth, more than 600 meters underwater and more than 200 meters underground. Nuclear test bombs have also been dropped by aircraft and fired by rockets up to 320 km into the atmosphere. The radiation of a nuclear explosion test is a secondary but far more dangerous consequence than the pressure of the explosion. Radiation and fallout will have serious effects on the environment and on the health of living things. Depending on the size of a nuclear conflict, explosions can even affect the climate. Those who survive fallout exposure have a high risk of cancer for the rest of their lives. Detonating a nuclear weapon below the ocean surface also has major consequences. According to recorded reports, America's underwater nuclear weapon tests were as powerful as the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They caused the seafloor to explode, creating columns of water more than 1.6 km high. Several warships parked near the explosion suddenly disappeared. Other ships were sunk. The explosion caused the waves near the shore to double, causing severe flooding in the island. In particular, it makes the marine environment polluted and makes marine life heavily affected. One of the most terrifying nuclear weapon tests to mention is partial braver. Special braver's yield was 15 megatons of TNT, as unforeseen additional reactions involving lithium-7 resulted in unexpected radioactive contamination for areas east of Bikini Atoll. The largest of them, in the form of surface coral, pulverized from the explosion, fell on the inhabitants of Rangelab and Uteric Atolls while the gaseous and granular fallout spread around the world. Hundreds of people living in many small islands up to 180 km from the center of the explosion are still contaminated with high levels of radiation. Many of them also later died from radiation-related illnesses. The fallout from the test quickly became an international disaster as it spread over an area more than 18,000 square kilometers. It is worth mentioning that even though decades have passed since the US conducted this test, the 
indigenous inhabitants of many islands of the Marshall Islands have not been able to return home because the environment is still in a stage of heavy radioactive contamination masonry. Then we see that the consequences of nuclear weapon tests are extremely large. We cannot predict the harm it leaves up to humanity. The effects of a nuclear explosion on its vicinity are often more destructive and multifaceted than those caused by conventional explosives. Which is why the whole world does not want this to happen, another nuclear weapon test. Today's video comes to an end. Hopefully, the information we provide will help you better understand nuclear weapons and their harms. Don't forget to press the button to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video to support us. Thank you and see you in the next videos. Goodbye!